Welcome back. You could be the victim identity theft and not even know it right away. During the first half of 2018, more than 4.5 billion records were compromised around the world, and the number set to rise. One of the problems is that people tend to use the same password for multiple online accounts. It's a practice that greatly increases the risk that your account could be compromised. Now, Ashley Avery with First Coast Credit Union has some password pointers for us. All right, you know, people get kind of frustrated changing their passwords so often. They I know do. I do, but how important is it first off? It's extremely important, um, and this is something that we're really just now realizing how important that is. Uh, but what happens is, is when we use a password on one account, mm -hmm. and we've used that password through multiple accounts, if that one account is compromised, even if it's not, if, let's just say it's like a daily inspirational quote that you get. It's not even a really important account that yeah. you have. But if that password's used there and then it's also used on your financial accounts, then all of your accounts are at risk to be compromised. Wow. So what do you recommend when it comes to passwords? Not dog one, two, three? No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. So there's a few things uh, and we will we'll talk about first um, what creates a strong password. The very first thing you don't want to do is use names and places that are easily found on your social uh, websites, social profiles. Um, it's extremely easy for anyone to gather that information. The name of your dog, maybe the name of your favorite band. So um, not Vic, my co-anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't it. want to do like Vic123, yep. yeah. <laughs> Blink182. <You know? laughs> very common. We don't want to do that, exactly. So what you want to do is create a strong password. And to do that, um, you want to, we, we like to think of it in terms of pass phrases okay. instead of a password. So think of a phrase that you like. And, and depending on what the character limit is mm -hmm. on those uh, accounts, you can either shorten it, you can throw in some exclamation marks, some of the uh, numbers, you could do uppercase, lowercase. You can make them unique as you want to. That's absolutely and perfectly fine. So think of it in past phrases. You can also use a sentence if you want to, maybe a sentence that just resonates with you. Shorten that up a little bit, but it's gonna be easy for you to remember and it's gonna be complex enough to check all the boxes. What do you do when you have to change your password so often for so many different accounts? How do you keep track? Right, so that's the thing that everybody's running into right now, and that's what seems to be the biggest uh, inconvenience for people or annoyance, really. Um, but the thing is, you cannot reuse a password because, like I said, if you do that, then all of your accounts are going to be compromised, right? So you want to use a password manager. And uh, a few that are uh, actually popular right now are LastPass, um, that's LastPass, also one password. Uh, those are basically managers hold all of your passwords, and you access it by just putting in one password. Do, you, do we believe those are safe? That's where you start yeah. to get scared. You're like, okay, now I have all my passwords in one place. Exactly, exactly. So we are not all security gurus by any means, right? So there is a website online. It's called staysafeonline.org. Mm -hmm. Staysafeonline.org. That gives a lot of great recommendations on different security measures that you can take, different applications that you can use. And if you're just not comfortable with it, you can do the old school method. You can write it down, go put it somewhere in your house uh, that you feel is safe and secure, perfectly fine. All right, a lot of great tips to use right there. I think I need to change my password. <laughs> I think that's what I got out of this. You probably all do. 